Hi, good morning. I'm Dr. Alan Mendelson from Eye Surgeons and Consultants in Hollywood, Florida. Today I'd like to talk about glaucoma. Glaucoma is actually a family of eye conditions whereby there is damage to the nerve in the back of the eye. So this is a model eye, the cornea being the clear dome of the eye. Here's the eye itself. And in the back there's a nerve called the optic nerve. And here's a cross section of the eye with the cornea, the lens, and then the crucial nerve that we're talking about, the optic nerve. So what happens is when we are born, the eye is just like the faucet of a sink. The faucet will turn on and fluids made inside the eye at a steady rate. And that's usually between two and three microliters per minute and usually approximately 2.5 microliters per minute. So the fluid's being made at a steady rate. And just like the sink has a drain, the eye has a drain area called the trabecular meshwork, where the fluid will drain out. So what should happen is, theoretically, the fluid should be made and drain out at about the same rate, giving a certain internal pressure in the eye. What glaucoma is, is when there is damage to the nerve of the back of the eye, and most commonly it's because the drain gets clogged up. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the sink. Again, we have our model eye, but I'm going to move over and just show you a cross section. So here, pretend the eye is looking up to the ceiling. Again, the cornea is the clear dome, the lens in the eye, and then the nerve in the back. So here's the lens. The fluid is made in an area called the ciliary body, and the fluid will go between the lens and the iris itself through the pupil aperture and into the front of the eye. Now in the front of the eye there is a material called the trabecular meshwork. It's like the sponge material where the fluid will drain out. So again, ideally the fluid should be made and drained at the same rate. But unfortunately with glaucoma what happens is the fluid is not getting out sufficiently and there is internal pressure caused on the eye. So as far as, as far as what actually can cause the glaucoma, there are certain risk factors. One risk factor is aging. The incidence of glaucoma, chronic open angle glaucoma, in our 20s and 30s is far lower. But once we get to be in our 70s, then in our 80s, so for example, in our 80s and above, there's 10 times the incidence. Also, there's a difference with ethnicity. People of African heritage or Hispanic heritage have quite a bit higher incidence of glaucoma uh, than those who do not. Also, there's a strong family history where if a parent or a sibling has glaucoma, that individual is far more likely to also develop glaucoma. And finally, there are a few other conditions. So I mentioned on the cross section of the eye, this is the lens in the eye. The lens when we are born is crystal clear. But with normal aging changes, just as we get gray hair, the lens will get gray and cloudy. Besides the lens getting gray and cloudy, sometimes this lens will actually slough, just like a snake sheds its skin. The outer surface will slough off material. That is called pseudo-exfoliation. Well, where does that shedded material from the lens go? It goes into the drain in the eye, it can make the pressure go up. That's referred to as pseudo-exfoliative glaucoma. Other entities that can cause it are, we have inside the eye, the iris. It's shaped like a donut or bagel. And people, brown eye, it's brown or blue or hazel. Pigment can slough from the iris into the drain of the eye. That's called pigmentary glaucoma. So there are many factors, both from the eye, genetics, um, and ethnicity, but also some systemic conditions. For example, diabetics are far more likely to develop glaucoma or people with hypertension. Nevertheless, no matter what the cause, no matter what the predisposing factors, the treatments are the same, and we'll talk about treatments in the next segment. Thank you very much.